um, welcome back. So today I'm going to break in my Revtune 2 motor. So first you need to connect your motor like this. Um, use your pinion gear to connect two motor together. So it will become like this. So this motor will be a slab motor to drive this uh, armature to spin it. Um, we don't want to use uh, um, power, I mean electric brake in because when the motor is running, there will be some spark or arcing inside this uh, motor at the contact point. So if we power up our Revtune 2 and then we put in some oil, it might spoil the brush area. So I prefer to do it this way by using a slave motor to run our motor to be break in um, so that it turns without electrics inside this brush so let's go ahead and do this so I'll use uh, my adapter to power this slave motor and then we'll put in the oil so the motor is now now running so we just I use this single multi-purpose oil so we just put the oil in to this holes here to break it let it break in so let me give you a clearer view just put in the oil let the motor run so run for one or two minutes and then you need to switch the polarity so it's running now i hope you can hear the auto turning sound so okay let's let it run for a while and okay, then put in some more we do this because we want to clean up some of the steel, I mean steel dust inside because our Tamiya motor is made by machine so when the machine is running and it's building this motor there will be some uh, metal dust collected inside our motor so we are doing this to first to clean up the dust inside and then also we want to smoothen the uh, contact of these two uh, copper plate with the armature so this way we can smoothen our motor and then before we put our motor inside our car and let it run on the track uh, it, the contact point with the armature is smoother so the resistance is l much lower than usual so meaning you have break in your motor and then you put it on your car and then it can run better and it, your motor will uh, experience less friction when it's running that's why we need to do motor break in to let your car run faster so now I have running uh, turn this I have to turn this around so I change the polarity so we need to do this a few times to make our motor run properly so the motor beneath it is running now so I just put in some more oil later we'll put it put some oil in front through the hole but I'll show you again so let us put some more and let our motor run and later I'll show you the speed of our motor so let it run first so that it can clean up some of the dust inside uh, hopefully there is some dust inside to clean up if not, uh, meaning this motor is quite clean as this is a new motor so I expect it won't have much dust inside okay so I can feel the motor is now running very smoothly so 
if you have a MA chassis, you can do this um, easily using the chassis because MA chassis is a, a motor center, uh, meaning the motor is at the center of the chassis. So you can connect the uh, armature, the rotor armature of the motor to this uh, to be uh, how to say this motor that is you want to break in. So now let us put some oil to the front hole here. You see, we have a hole at the front, so put in that hole. So to prevent it from turning. So put in. And also we can put some oil to the bearing to let our motor run faster. So just clean up. So we have been turning for around 2 minutes in this direction, so we need to change the polarity. So we change the polarity. So when you're doing this, this is quite uh, dirty, so make sure you get ready some uh, used cloth, used fabric to do this uh, motor back in. I uh, hope you can see clearly. Uh, can you can see. So the motor is putting some oil. Okay, it's turning now. So some more so you can see it's running so it's the other direction now we do it the other way around and put in some more we don't want the dust to accumulate at the brush area so we before you end your brake in motor brake in make sure you always point your motor this way so that all the dust will go down and then hopefully you come out from the hole in front so put in more so that the dust won't accumulate a lot of dust to re reduce the resistance. So I think almost done. I'll do it a few more times. So maybe I'll skip this and then you can do it yourself because it's uh, quite lengthy if we continue on. So that's it. So this is how I do my motor break in. So you can do it. So remember to prepare some used fabric to wipe your hand and uh, clean up the motor. So now I'll go ahead and stop this um, motor break in. So that's all. So let's wipe up and remove this. So okay, done. So now the motor is ready. Uh, okay. So that's it. So that's how I do my Revtune 2 motor back in. Okay. Uh, in my next video, I will show you um, the speed and how to um, uh, grease your car. Because your car, you need to put all the grease to the gear to make it smooth. So that's all for these videos. Uh, stay tuned, guys. So this is my Revtune 2 motor after break-in. It's very oily. So it's normal because our engine bear is always very oily and dirty. It's just like our real vehicle. So just make it oily and you are good to go for your rest. So okay, thanks guys. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a nice day and enjoy yourself. So stay tuned for my next video. Thanks.